what's going on guys perfect nightmare here doing another battlefield video hopefully you guys enjoy this content if you guys do please like share or comment down below on what you guys think about this I am basically giving off five tips on how to survive in the battlefield so basically your tips are being a pilot understand how to stay stealthy know your surroundings be a team player and also squad up now these are pretty easy to do I'm gonna start off right now with the pilot now depending on what your your priorities are on where uh, vehicle you're actually flying around um, in my suggestion if you're gonna end up flying around an attack chopper your goal is to basically help support infantry take out certain vehicles and certain infantry in certain areas that they lock down but if you're a transport chopper drive pilot and all this you are not tasked to go around and try to kill people with the chopper you're best off just transporting your units or soldiers whatever you like to call them down to that certain um, area that needs to be uh, captured taken over or whatever um, as a transport chopper your task is basically just simple fly towards uh, the objective stay there try to avoid RPGs or stingers or whatever you guys are being chased by uh, just watch out for attack choppers and stuff like that but there are those times that you have to uh, alert your well, fellow soldiers that you need to bail out because the plane's going down. Always, always, always tell them to uh, get out, get out, get out, or stuff before we guy, before you guys go down. Communication is always the key. It's always the key in battle to keep a successful uh, raid or a successful uh, attack on a certain area or something's gonna happen. Just let them know. Um. Now, for being stealthy wise, this one's actually pretty, uh, pretty decent and easy. Basically, what you're gonna want to do is just basically slap a suppressor on some of your weapons. I would not suggest a sniper rifle being having a suppressor because it does take away the range. But uh, really, just look at what your weapons are doing. Look at what's going on and stay off the radar. Definitely, stay off the radar is one of the main keys on uh, Battlefield. You do not want to be stuck behind. Uh, Jimmy Johnson over here who's using a LMG or a uh, heavy, uh, heavy, heavy rifle whatever and just sitting in a corner just spraying away. You don't want to be someone like that, no. You want to be someone that's going to be stealthy, crouching, making less noise, understanding how to get to point A to point B without being spotted, stuff like that. And crouching is one way of reducing noise, but another is also crawling. If you do a little bit of prone crawling, you're tend to get across the map a little bit more slower, but yet more proficient and able to without being spotted. Now, there are those moments that you're crouching and doing this and an enemy does spot you from far away. That's, that's a no-brainer too. That's, you're pretty much like that. But always stay with cover and foliage and stuff like that. Like for me, I would stay in cover on hardline behind bricks or some heavy equipment and trying to go through. But on Battlefield 4, what I would do is I would stay down in the grass or something, stay hidden and wait for people, certain people to pass by. If you're going to take them out, take them out as quick as possible. If not, then just continue going to your goal. That's the best way to stay off the radar. Um, Slapping the suppressor would uh, help a lot on a lot of your weapons. It would keep you from being spotted on the main radar itself and keeping you from, uh, keeping you basically from being heard as well when you're shooting. Uh, I've noticed when I use suppressors that uh, it does tend to uh, make a noise if you're, say, an enemy or whatever. But uh, by the time they look for, try to look for you, you should already have dropped them by then. Now, third one is always, always, always communication. Now, I've said this before on the uh, pilot one. Always communicate with your team. Understand what you're going to be doing next. If you communicate with your team, you have a better chance of actually falling off into, like, groups. And just understanding where you're going to pinpoint your certain locations at. Where you're going to strike at. When you strike at a certain location, it tends to actually help you more than you can actually possibly think. In Hardline, when I used to play Rescue with a few friends, we would go clan against clan or group against group. And we would want like understand, how would you go by the, upon this point and getting it? Well, my friend A would probably hop in from the top. My friend B would hop in from the underground. My friend C would hop in from the sides, and I would hop in maybe through the garage or something. And this is on, uh, I believe it's the Hollywood Hill one, I forgot what it's called, it's mansion or something like that. But uh, we would uh, 
we would do it. Like, we would understand how to do it. We would communicate where they're going to be at. If you spot one, let us know. It could be in our location. We'll take them out. If there's more than one, you better hope to God you can uh, take them both out. If you can't, you try to say something before you die. That's the way it goes. That's the way it is. Um, communication is a big key in the battlefield. It, sh it shows that you're, one, a team player, and two, you understand what the hell you're doing. Now, number two is being, or, well, yeah, number two is being a t uh, team player and understanding where or what your goal is. Now, being a team player is nothing more than just understanding where you're going to be at on the team. Now, if you're going to be a support and run as a sniper, be sure that you're accurate enough to be a sniper. Which means, if you're going to let your team down by not giving up suppressing fire, by going around and trying to quick scope players, then you're not meant for a sniper. You're not meant at all for sniping. Sniping is to give support to your teammates. Understand that. It's not to go off and try to do quick scopes, trick shots, stuff like that. This ain't Call of Duty. On the other hand, if you're going to be a mechanic or engineer or something, understand that that class itself is to repair vehicles, help and destroy vehicles, and understand that it can uh, pretty much save uh, your team by having the perks already updated to it. Like it's in Hardline, if you get uh, faster mechanics, it upgrades your uh, vehicle mechanics uh, skills. It just basically bumps them up by like 50%. But uh, and like, like I said, there's many classes. Assault. If you're going to run in the Assault class, always run with the Fibrillators or a Revive or something. And always run with a Med Kit on you. Not the fucking little packets, but an actual full-on Med Kit. Because those will help save your life as well as your teammates. Giving support like that will help bring teammates back and keep you guys from losing constantly. I have moments where like I have those teammates that want to be team players but they accidentally do stupid things as a team player. As in revive teammates inside fires or revive teammates during a gas attack or when a grenade goes off in there or if they're right in front of somebody or a group of people. It's something that you're not supposed to do. Don't ever revive before you actually give off or give them in front of somebody. Or if something is around them, don't. That is just something that's a big no on it. Now the last one is squad up, and by this, by squad up, I really do mean like actually have a team of squads or for your squads. Understand that when you squad up as a team, you're not just squatting up as somebody that's gonna enjoy the game or feel that the game is fine or whatever. You're squatting up to help teammates understand where you're going. You're squatting up to have a better a better chance of winning in a certain match or a certain game mode or certain things. You're squatting up to help you're basically your friends and have fun. When you squat up, it takes the whole new level of fucking military tactics or police tactics or criminal tactics or terrorist tactics for God's sake. You do a lot more when you squat up and understand how you're gonna do this. Run forward on this. When you squat up, you have basically a group of five people. If you guys have played Battlefield, and you guys have come to Call of Duty. You have five people. You can squat up constantly to understand where the hell you can be. Your teammates will rely on what support you use. When you guys communicate, you guys understand where you're going to go. When you're stealthy, your entire team can end up in one entire spot without being noticed until the end. And if you understand your roles as a pilot, and understand what the difference between a support pilot and a uh, transport pi and an attack pilot are able to do. Understand that these rules can keep you from dying. That these ideas can help you. These tactics. Always stay stealthy. Always communicate. Understand where you're going to be at. Understand your role. Understand your freaking driving abilities. Understand what you can and cannot do. In Battlefield, it's all about war. And understand that this war that you're doing right there can help a lot when you have a team, when you communicate, when you understand what you're doing. Just that alone can help you. But anyways, guys, I'm Perfect Nightmare. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully you guys take my tips a little bit. All right. I'm not I'm not a pro. I'm Honestly, I say I'm good at the game. I mean, averaging out at 60 and 13 on a regular basis or 40 and 10 on an average basis. But that's only hardline. If I were to do Battlefield 4, I would actually come up pretty short, but that's because I'm working with a team. But understand that these tactics can help you in Battlefield, no matter what game it is, no matter if it's Bad Company, number 3, Battlefield 4, or Hardline, or even freaking 
Medal of Honor Warfighters. It still helps out what you understand and what you can do. But anyway guys, I'm Perfect Nightmare. I'm out. Please like the video. Comment down below what you guys think about my tactics. If you think they're a little bit iffy, I'll come up with some new ones and see if I can help you guys in certain things. But anyway guys, I'm Perfect Nightmare and I'm out.